Good morning. I hope y'all are having a really good Sunday. Um, I just got back from a run. Willow, you back there? Willow and I went for a run, but I wanted to hop on because I did the coolest thing with the boys yesterday, and I just thought I would share it. Um, Friday, I had a learning day. Like, in, um, I'm part of a group called EOA, Entrepreneur Organization, and there's an accelerator group that I'm part of, and they have quarterly learning days. And on Friday, it was strategy day, and it's like 8 to 4 p.m. You're kind of a total immersion learning about your business. And they had a panel that had some um, successful entrepreneurs on it, and they were just kind of sharing some of their secrets and things that worked for them. And one of them talked about a family workshop that she had attended. And it just sounded so cool, you know, just kind of the idea if you're, I mean, and it's just, it's not even people who own businesses. It's everybody. Your life is going by crazy fast. Are you like actually doing everything you want to do with your kids and your family? And, you know, she kind of asked like, how many more spring breaks do you have left with your kids? And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, you know, um, Jack's going to be 14 and next year he's going to be in high school. So anyway, she kind of shared what they did and I immediately like jumped on and was like, how much is this? I want to do this workshop. And it was, it was great. I mean, awesome. But, you know, it was a decent amount of money. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go home and just see if I can do kind of something myself. So I thought I would share it with you. And by the way, look at my clean Jeep. I mean, come on. Have you? It's never looked this clean ever. It's so shiny. Okay, sorry, just, I, I'm just so, I can't believe this is it. I got it cleaned on Friday. Um, but um, it's, so what I did is I took the kids, um, Jack and Gray, and if you don't know, Jack is in eighth grade. He's almost 14, and Gray's in sixth grade. He's 11. And um, I printed off a sheet of core values. So this is, I don't even know how many there are. There are, there are a ton of them on here. You can go on um, Pinterest or just the internet and type up, you know, a list of core values. And we printed these off and I talked to the boys about what core values were and asked them, you know, if they knew what those were, because we've done this a lot with Paper Daisies and, you know, kind of shared what my core values are, what Paper Daisies are, which are basically kind of the same. And um, just tried to explain to them, you know, core values are what you believe in. They're very personal. They're not, you know, somebody else's, my core values are going to be very different than Jack's or Jay's or Gray's or, or whatnot. Um, and then I asked them to circle the um, values that they thought were really important to them and that they valued. So it was hilarious. I mean, it was so funny that Gray was done in like five minutes and he had like maybe eight and they were so gray. I mean, it was like um, happiness, peacefulness, calm, um, laughter, love, family, and then obedient and helpful, which I thought was hilarious, but that's very much gray. Um, so he just nailed it. And then the, we were going over the list and, and then he added curious, which I thought was really good because he likes to take everything apart. Um, just, I don't know, just for the hell out of it because he just wants to know how it works. And then Jack, on the other hand, like we went over every word. I mean, they were at, he was asking me, what does this mean? You know, what does an authenticity mean? What does integrity mean? What is, you know, um, ethic, ethical, um, vulnerable. I mean, he was really into it and you know, and he, he was like, well, mom, you know, I'm, I'm a lot of these things. And I was like, well, you are, and everybody is, but it's not what you are. It's what you believe in and what you strive for and what's really, truly important to you. So he like circled about 25. And then today we're going to kind of pare those down to like his top five and same with gray. And it was, it ended up being such a cool exercise to do with them. And of course, um, you know, they're at a good age to understand a lot of this, but it's really, I think, helping them kind of understand who they are and what's important to them. And then um, today we're going to talk about, you know, kind of some goals that we want to set as a family. And for example, as soon as I said, you know, we're, we'll work together as family and figure out some things that we want to do over the next few years, the boy's immediate reaction was, oh yeah, right. You're going to say it's too expensive. And I was like, okay, well that's valid, you know, because you heard that before. So I was like, all right, well, if we decide like as a family that we want to do this really cool trip and it's going to cost a lot of money, then, you know, maybe next Thursday when we all want to go out to eat, we say, Hey, you know what? Today we stay in, we eat sandwiches. And instead of spending 60 bucks, 80 bucks going out, we're going to put that money towards the trip. 
So anyway, I just wanted to share that. I thought it was really cool. It, it worked out really well for us. And I think you could do it with, if you don't have kids, you could do it with your partner, your spouse. Um, it'd probably be weird to do it with your friend. I don't know why I would do it with your friend, but I don't know, maybe, I mean, whatever, if it works for you. But definitely, like, if you've got a date night coming up, you know, just print out a list of this. And it's, at least it's a, like, conversation starter, you know. So anyway, wanted to share it. Hope you all have a good Sunday.